it is finally time for 20 minutes of useless science facts. Hey Tom, how's it going? Austin, I'm okay, you? You're, you're doing another useless facts video, aren't you? That is exactly what I'm doing, yeah. I'm sorry. But hey, now you're here, and seeing as you are like the inspiration for this entire useless facts thing, how about you do the first fact? Uh, hmm? uh, uh. The periodic table of elements contains 104 lowercase letters. There are more possible chess game variations than there are atoms in the observable universe. 10 to the power of 120 instead of 10 to the power of 80, to be exact. The majority of the bones in your body are in your hands and feet. Unless you are currently pregnant, in which case there is a chance that the majority of the bones in your body are, in fact, in your uterus. The internet weighs about the same as a tennis ball. It's the collective weight of the electrons that are involved in the working of the entire internet today. If you were to drop a peanut M&M from two inches, that would release more energy than the energy contained in all of the photons that the James Webb Space Telescope is going to collect during its entire 10-year lifespan. And it's already giving us these insane images in just the first few months. Photons that are produced in the core of the sun take hundreds of thousands of years to reach the surface of the sun and then escape out into space. And then it just takes them eight minutes flying through the vacuum of space to arrive here to Earth. Kind of crazy. The country with the most tornadoes per square mile is not the United States. It's actually the United Kingdom. We can detect some fake oil paintings because of nukes. That's because some isotopes found in oil now did not exist in nature before nuclear bomb explosions. So paintings containing them must have been painted after the age of nukes began. Grasshoppers have ears on their stomachs. Humans produce enough saliva throughout their lives to fill two swimming pools. Everything around us is designed, from the kitchen sink, to the walls of your house, to your phone, or even the chair you're sitting on. They're designed to function and serve a purpose, but they're also designed to not break. We start by knowing how much strength something needs to function, and then design it to be that strong. For example, let's take a chair that's designed to hold 100 pounds. Well, what happens when someone who's a lot heavier than that sits on it? It breaks. The chair breaks. That's what happens. But you see, chair designers are smart, and they know that fat people love chairs. So they specifically engineer them to be stronger than the maximum amount of weight their chairs should ever be expected to carry. This is what's called the factor of safety. If a beam is designed to carry two times the force it's ever expected to hold, then it has a safety factor of two. It's twice as strong as it needs to be for safety. Buildings are designed to be overly strong in case they're hit by an earthquake or a hurricane or something like that, with a factor of safety around four or five. Elevators, on the other hand, usually have a factor of safety of around 10, meaning if it's designed to carry 10 people, it'll actually lift around 100. It's usually better to be safe than sorry when people's lives are on the line. So imagine an airplane. What do you think the factor of safety is for something that's designed to carry people through the sky? One point two. That means an airplane is designed to only be strong enough to handle 120% the maximum load it's expected to ever take. That's right, because the downside to more strength is more weight. And if an airplane had the same factor safety as an elevator, it'd be too heavy to ever get off the ground. Don't worry though, airplanes undergo years of design and testing and more testing to make sure that even though they get the weight low enough, it's still strong enough to, you know, not break in the middle of a flight. Just think about that the next time you're on an airplane. Look out that window and just look at those wings and realize that all it takes is a bit of a record-breaking gust of wind and RIP. Bit of an oversimplification. You really shouldn't worry about being on an airplane. I just thought it was kind of fascinating that something as dangerous as an airplane is just barely, barely strong enough to not break in the middle of a flight. The more you know. In the Philippines, there's an island within a lake, within an island, within a lake, within an island. Turkmenistan has a crater that's been on fire since 1971. It's a collapsed natural gas field. Mars is the only planet in existence to be entirely inhabited by robots. As far as we know. Just six pieces of standard eight studded Lego bricks can be combined in nearly a billion ways, or 915,103,765 ways to be exact. 
In the Latin Quarter of central Paris, there's a radioactive doorknob. The doorknob is connected to a door that leads to the lab of the late French scientist and Nobel Prize winner Marie Curie. Her work with radium and polonium introduced so much radioactive material into her belongings and her body that 90 years later, the material has not fully decayed. And for the protection of others, they've lined her coffin with nearly an inch of lead. There are fossilized ripples from the tsunami caused by the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs. Over 100 of our genes are borrowed from plants, fungi, and other organisms. Marine iguanas sneeze a lot. They do it to get rid of salt from the glands near their noses. A cat called Chester co-authored a physics paper with the pen name FDC Willard in 1975. The North Pole is a South Pole. It's true, magnets have a North Pole and a South Pole, as you know, and the Earth is a magnet. So the North Pole of the Earth's magnet must be at the North Pole, but it's not. The South Pole of the Earth's magnet is at the North Pole, and it's not a mistake. Magnetic North Poles get their name from the fact that they point towards the North, but North Poles are attracted to South Poles, so there must be a South Pole at the North Pole. Peanuts aren't nuts. They're part of the legume family, which includes things like beans and peas. So, pea nut. Right now, there are around 8,000 tons of space junk around Earth. Did you know that when you hum, you're actually exhaling through your nose? This means that if you pinch your nose shut, you cannot hum. Try it. Isn't that wild? Jupiter is more than twice the size of all other planets in our solar system combined. You probably know that sleeping through the winter is called hibernation, but there's also an equivalent for sleeping through the summer called estivation. And it's done by things like snails, tortoises, salamanders, and crocodiles, as well as the Malagasy fat-tailed dwarf lemur and the East African hedgehog. And I don't think I'm ever going to be able to look at a Malagasy fat dwarf-tailed lemur the same ever again. Did you know that in 1950 they used live bears, like live bears, as test dummies? for Mach 2 ejection seats. I don't know why you'd pick bears. Like, surely they're gonna be angry when you take them out. I think it's because of the weight. Like, they're similar weight to humans, so that's important. But yeah, 1950s drugged the sh out of some bears and yeeted them out of a plane at Mach 2. Something humans did. Sun bears have tongues that are up to 25 centimeters long that they use to eat insects like termites, ants, beetle larvae, and bee larvae. Kangaroos can't move their hind legs independently of each other unless they're swimming. They're also the only known animals to use their tail like a fifth leg. It's called pentapedal locomotion and the tail provides as much propulsive force as front and hind legs combined. On average, I'm more dense than a supermassive black hole. This seems weird because black holes are the most dense objects in our universe, but they can also get very, very big. And so for the biggest ones, if you average out their masses over their volumes, given by the radius of their event horizon, the average density is about the same as water. The Western Lowland Gorilla's scientific name is Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla. It's an example of a triple tautonym, just like bison, 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 lynx, 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 and giraffe, giraffe, giraffe. The cables that carry your internet across the ocean, that like lie across the ocean floor, they're only about the size of your finger. Let me show you. So this is what's just in the shallows. This is what's across the ocean floor. Thousands and thousands of miles of this. And this is what actually carries the information. Wild. Despite their name, killer whales are technically dolphins, but then dolphins are technically whales. So science is Really confusing sometimes. Crocodiles and alligators are more closely related to birds than they are to lizards. It's another good reminder that we can't trust our own eyes. Owls don't have eyeballs that can move around in their sockets like we do. That's why they evolved to have necks that can spin around 270 degrees almost silently. In 2018, researchers at Oxford University were working on something called the Malaria Atlas Project. They developed a methodology to try and figure out how long it takes to cross any two points on the planet based on things like transportation type, terrain, geography, that kind of thing. And they were doing it to better understand areas of geographic isolation, essentially how long it takes to get certain places. So when they applied this methodology to the United States, they figured out the literal middle of nowhere, and that is Glasgow, Montana, which is more than four and a half hours away from any metro area with more than 75,000 people. And how did I come to learn this? Well, my car broke down in Glasgow, Montana, and this, this is all I got. 
About 200 million years from now, Asia and America will collide to form a supercontinent around the North Pole. And there's already a name for it, Amasia. The caterpillar of the Uraba Lugans moth wears its old heads that have been molted like hats, and its nickname is the Mad Hatterpillar. The smallest grooves detectable by a human fingerprint are 50 nanometers in depth. The moon sometimes orbits through the Earth's atmosphere. Now, where the atmosphere stops and space begins is a question that has more than one answer. But one answer is the top of the exosphere, which is the height above the Earth's surface at which Earth's gravity exerts less of a force on hydrogen molecules than the solar wind. So what that means is behind the Earth, in the shadow from the sun, the top of the exosphere extends really far, as far as 600,000 kilometers away, which forms this wisp be tail to the atmosphere called the geocorona. And that's far enough that sometimes the moon orbits straight through it, through the Earth's atmosphere. The Great Wall of China cannot be seen by the naked eye from space, but the 64,000 acre greenhouses of Almeria in Spain can be. 90% of modern apples can be traced back to just two trees. Male giraffes taste the pee of females to determine if they're ready to mate. Pain. We don't fully understand it. The placebo effect, paracetamol, these are things we use every day but remain far from fully explained, but my favourite has got to be general anaesthetic. We don't know how it works, there are theories, one of the leading one revolves around the fact that general anaesthetic agents have been observed to exhibit quantum interactions with entangled photons, meaning that doctors were manipulating quantum forces almost 200 years ago when general anaesthetic was first discovered. Suck on that, physicists. Deep sea dragonfish eat bioluminescent fish, so they have a black coating on their stomach to stop other prey seeing the flickering light of their prey being digested. You've probably heard that there are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand on the Earth. Which is crazy, but what I find more amazing is that there are more atoms in a single grain of sand than there are grains of sand on Earth. Squid brains are shaped like donuts and their digestive tract goes through it. So if they eat something that's too large, they literally get brain damage. And your stomach enzymes digest you when you die. The moon orbits the Earth and the Earth orbits the sun, but the sun actually orbits the center of the Milky Way galaxy every 230 million years. So that means that when the dinosaurs were around, they were on the other side of the galaxy compared to where we are now. Messages from our brains can travel down our nerves at up to 268 miles per hour. Humans are bioluminescent and actually glow in the dark, but the light that we emit is 1,000 times weaker than our eyes are able to pick up. There's a bonsai tree in Italy that's over 1,000 years old. Your eardrums move with your eyes, so if you look left, your eardrums angle to the left. So most people know that dogs get rid of excess heat by panting, but they also actually sweat a little bit through their paws. And when that moisture interacts with the microbial communities that live on their paws and in the crevices in between their paw pads, those microbes are gonna consume that moisture and the products they produce as a result of that is what makes dog paws smell. Bless you, like corn chips. It's a really similar process to how humans produce bio. Bless you. Some turtles can breathe through their butts. <clears throat> the names Arctic and Antarctica effectively means bears and no bears. But even though there are polar bears in the Arctic and none in Antarctica, it was just a total coincidence, and the names come from celestial constellations. By mass, Pluto consists of 30 to 50% ice and 50 to 70% rock. Loads of oranges around the world aren't actually orange. They're green because they're filled with chlorophyll, the same stuff that leaves are filled with. When you eat pineapples, they eat you right back. They contain an enzyme which breaks down meat proteins, which is why your tongue sometimes stings a little after eating pineapple. Female mayflies are born, mate, lay eggs, and die within just five minutes. The largest recorded temperature change in 24 hours happened in Montana when it went from minus 47 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius. Barnacles have the greatest penis to weight ratio in all the animal kingdom. Their huge uh, eggplant just pops out of their shells and seeks out females. The sperm of a mouse is longer than the sperm of an elephant, but fruit flies have the longest sperm known to science at six centimeters, which is 20 times the size of their body. Bees that are far from home sometimes use pumpkin flowers that close up at night as sleeping bags. 
Beer bubbles create a gravity-defying loop where bubbles head up to the center where frictional drag from the glass is less and down on the outside as the top gets crowded. There is around 20 million tons of gold dispersed within the oceans. That is enough for each person on Earth to have over 4 kilograms of it. However, it's so diluted that if you tried to get all of it, you would probably spend significantly more trying to get it than you would actually get from it. Texas is three times bigger than the entirety of the UK. This is an Akapi, also known as the Zebra Giraffe. When a star in the Orion constellation called Betelgeuse explodes sometime in the next 100,000 years, it will be as bright as the half moon for over three months and it will be visible during the daytime for more than a year. About 14% of people on Earth don't have a muscle called the palmaris longus. If you want to check for yourself, just bring your pinky and your thumb together and flick your wrist forward and its tendon will pop up right there. You can't taste food without saliva. The average 20-year-old has around 10,000 miles of nerve fibers in their brain. The average human, though, has around 10 times more nerve connections in their brain than there are stars in our galaxy. There is an extremely rare type of cloud called a noctilucent cloud. You can only see them in the summer months during astronomical twilight. Now, normal clouds top out at about 12 and a half kilometers or 41,000 feet. Noctilucent clouds, however, find themselves in the mesosphere and they are at altitudes of around 80 kilometers or 260,000 feet. A flea can accelerate 20 times faster than the space shuttle. When they jump, they reach eight centimeters in a millisecond, so they experience around 100 Gs in the process. Fighter pilots pull up to around nine Gs in extreme maneuvers, just to put that into perspective. One square centimeter column of atmosphere from the Earth's surface to the exosphere would weigh one kilogram. A human cell contains two meters of DNA. And what's most amazing about that is because your cells are continuously dividing, over your whole lifetime, you'll produce more than two light years of the stuff. That's enough DNA to stretch over halfway to the nearest star. There's only one tree which can live in the ocean, the mangrove tree. Normally, the salty water of the ocean would kill a tree. To get around this, mangroves have developed salt glands on their leaves and bark. So if you were to pick the leaf off of a mangrove tree, you might notice that it's covered in small crystals. The praying mantis is the only insect that can turn its head from side to side. When we talk about social media algorithms, we often talk about them like they're one algorithm. But it turns out that when we're talking about the YouTube algorithm or the the Twitter algorithm or the Instagram algorithm, we're actually talking about several different machine learning models that all work in sync to do different things. Your stomach is amazing. Not only can its gastric acid break down your food, but it can also dissolve a razor blade. The human eye can differentiate around 10 million different colors. The earliest date for invention for the bow and arrow that we possibly have is 71,000 years ago in South Africa. This is based on small microliths that were found left in a quiver-like formation in a cave. The sky is blue, but it's blue for a different reason than you might think. It's blue for the same reason that a guitar string will resonate and start to sing with you if you sing next to it. So when light comes from the sun and hits the atmosphere, the nitrogen molecules, they're just the right size that they resonate with that light and re-emit light. The average belly button contains 67 species of bacteria. The red planet Mars isn't even red. Well, it kind of is, but only on the surface. The red hematite dust, which is one of the reasons Mars looks red, at its very thickest up in the Tharsis region, is maybe around two meters, and then its thinnest elsewhere can be just a few millimeters thick. So underneath that dust, the Martian rocks, of which this is genuinely one, are actually gray. In the Atacama Desert in Chile, there's a 3,000-year-old densely packed shrub that looks like moss-covering rocks, but it's actually a cluster of branches and leaves that is so hard that you can stand on it. Pando is a forest of 47,000 aspen trees, all joined together by one root system, making it genetically one individual, the largest single living thing on Earth, which is cool in itself. But since Pando occupies an area of about 44 hectares, the same area as Vatican City, that means that the largest single living organism in the world is the same size as the smallest country in the world. In an average lifetime, a human will walk the equivalent of five times around the world. Gram for gram, human bone is four times stronger than concrete. 
In North America, there's a parasite that gives frogs additional legs. It starts off in a bird's digestive tract, then the parasite infects a snail, and then finally it infects a tadpole. When that tadpole becomes a frog, the frog can grow an unusual number of legs, like some frogs have 10 legs. The legs may make it easier for birds to catch and eat the frogs, and when that happens, the life cycle starts over again. Any given spot on our planet's surface gets darkened by the moon's shadow on average only once about every 400 years. There's a volcano in Guatemala called Santa Maria that has been erupting every hour for the last century. There's a species of fungus that looks like a sponge and its scientific name is Spongiforma squarepantsi. Mount Roraima is estimated to be about 2 billion years old, making it one of the oldest geological formations on Earth. On average, you fart enough in one day to fill a party balloon. And every minute around four earthquakes of magnitude 2 or higher happen somewhere around the world. So, since you started watching this video, around 80 of those earthquakes have happened because that makes it 20 minutes of useless science facts. I can't believe you sat through the entire thing. Whew. That's crazy, man.